All right, so I am going to be doing some bridge fishing here today. And if you can't tell, this is not real life fishing. This is virtual life fishing. This is Fishing Planet, the game on Steam. And uh, yeah, I'm out here. I'm going to be throwing a 1 6 ounce casting spoon. And I'm going to see if I can catch anything. But you know what? Since it is a virtual game, well, something just blew up on the water right there. And it's virtual and not the real life, so let's do some stuff that I can't do in the real life, like walk up to this guy and smack him in the back of the head with the rod. <laughs> can't do that. Let me cast and try to hit that other guy over there. <laughs> He's looking at me now. What is he? I just cast out that way. Unsuccessful cast. Tackle hit the ground. Let's see. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway, let's cast right over this guy. He snagged on the bridge. I don't know what he's doing, but he keeps looking at me. Uh, throwing a casting spoon. I'm going to kind of jig it off the bottom. See if I can get any bites around all that vegetation over there. I'm doing this because I have not been having any luck at all lately. Especially fishing for bass. I've caught a handful of catfish, but I mean, how many videos do you guys want to see where it's pitch black outside and you can only see like one little circle of light with a fish in it? That doesn't really work out too well for me. So this is Fishing Planet. I've played it before. I don't play it very often. Uh, you can actually see there is activity with fish on the water. There's some wakes and swirls and ripples out there and I'm just jigging the spoon off the bottom I haven't been catching anything so I'm hoping to catch something here in the virtual world and this guy's gonna oh there's two of them now Let's just go stand right on top of each other then and cast. This is what people do, and do to me when I'm out fishing, so I'm going to do it to them in the virtual world. Just get right on top of them. Increase my speed a little bit. If you're not familiar with this game, upper left hand corner is all the uh, weather information and live well or whatever kind of information there is there. Apparently 2.2 is my personal best. Uh, upper right is the bait that I'm using and the uh, depth gauge, I guess, for the lure. Shows you where it's at and how it's moving. Also lets you know if you're getting a bite because if it starts floating up on its own, you know it's a bite. Uh, underneath that is uh, the percentages of everything that I'm using. 96% bait, 97%. I think when it as it wears out the percentage goes down and the gauge next to that where you can kind of see that blue line showing up at the bottom there like that that's the line tension which there's actually tension on the line right now but which is weird I might have had a bite and missed it there uh, underneath that is the reel direction you can see the arrows changing there it's actually I can reel backwards now move it forward Reel it real slow, increase the speed a little bit. Maybe not that much. And the, the thing around that is the drag. I can increase the drag or decrease the drag. I'm doing it about halfway. Uh, and then the countdown, that's how far out the line is, with 255 feet being the, the amount of line that I have on my spool. Uh, I think my maximum casting distance is like a hundred something feet. Let's find it. Well, that's not my maximum cast. I missed. Need to work on my timing there, but that's not bad. 91 feet. Let's increase my speed just a little bit because it's going to take like 10 minutes to reel it in that far if it's too slow. Just jigging the spoon off the bottom. The guy to my left is just not moving. Uh, you can chat with other people. These are actual people out there. Hey guys. 
turn that off. Start reeling again. Yeah, I am a level level three. You know what? I'm, I'm maybe I'll get kicked out for this, but let's let's type this message in. Check me out on YouTube. And then a stupid smiley face. Let's see. You know what? Let's make it a winking face. With a nose. <laughs> Somebody's probably going to cuss me out. This is how you get hate messages. By spamming people like this. So, I mean, this game's pretty realistic for the most part on some things. There are some things that are unrealistic, like uh, you can't snag other people's lines. But you can snag the plants and the dock and stuff like that. Jigging here, slow, slow retrieve on the spoon. Oh, I got one. Bring him in. He came in pretty easy. That wasn't a very big fish. It's a nice little crappie. Less than half a pound, nine inches long. White crappie. Somebody else just caught a black tail shiner down there at the bottom. I don't want to keep that. What did I do? I ranked up. Oh, look, I can get jig heads now. Maybe I can get some swim baits. Grasshoppers. Pet food. I can do some swim baits, shad, but, and this quarter ounce spoons, uh, yeah, closed feeder, I'm not doing that kind of fishing. Anyway, that's cool. I leveled up, mud water trial, there's all kinds of activity out here though, but maybe I just need to throw it out back where it was in the, in the vegetation. All kinds of activity. It's pretty pretty accurate with the activity. You can see the little ripples and stuff from the smaller fish, and then every once in a while you'll see wakes and swirls from like bigger fish trying to eat them. Yeah, you can see there's tons of little fish in there. The activity is pretty realistic. I can see something moving around over there. Let's try to hit that. Oh, I got snagged. Of course I did. And you can pull and jerk it to get it free. Unsnagged. Still 108. How did I get it 118 feet out there? That is ridiculous. Oh, seeing something splashing around over there. And I got snagged. Just reel it in. Unsnagged. I wish it was that easy to get your lures unsnagged in real life. See, and right now I'm using the, the left button on the mouse to reel it in, or I can hit the right button and set the hook. Or just let it sit there and jig it. That might work. Bring in the slack and jig it again. That's a technique that works in real life, but I'm not sure if it works in the game. This is... Somebody just caught a trophy bluegill at half a pound. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. This thing... This is... This game is realistic in the fact that it's just as tedious as fishing for real. Go back to that silver spoon just because silver. Oh, and I got snagged on something apparently. Oh, look, I caught dark hornwort. It's funny, I can. Last time I caught this, it said I could keep it, but my backpack's full, so I'm gonna discard it. 
It's funny that it gives you the option to keep the weeds that you catch. Whoa. Absolute max cast. Let's see, how far did that go? 128 feet. Okay, let's move. It's just like real fishing. I'm getting tired of these spots and I want to leave. I don't know what that sign curls that way. There's nowhere to go. Where, can I go that way? You searched well but found no worms in the compost pile this time. Oh, okay. I didn't. Oh, that's what's on the sign. Worms. It's a compost pile. That's pretty cool. So you can get free bait. That's interesting. This is kind of tedious and there is a quicker way to move around through everything. And that's by going to the map and stuff, but I don't really want to do that right now. I'm just kind of exploring, testing it out. Are we the only three people in this one? Because I, I joined one before and there was like 20 people. I think this is the longest I've gone without catching something. Ever. Like, according to this, it's already 8 a.m. That guy Spencer is catching some big bluegill. Go ahead and hit the map. And... Where am I? There's only three people in here, huh? What's that? Apparently there's a deep hole over here on this far end over here how do I Let's close that inventory map uh, that this does not look like the same water apparently there's let me go over here okay apparently there's a deep hole somewhere over here straight out in front of me that's what I'm gonna go look for takes real strategy just like really fishing look there's some reeds right there too oh look I got sled or sedge I don't know what sedge is throw it to those reeds over there hmm not too deep apparently Wait, do I have a fish? Because I'm not snagged. So, no, I'm probably bringing in whatever that weed is. A stick or something. Water lily. <clears throat> Just throw it out into the middle and let it sink. It's got some fair depth out there. That's pretty cool. If you watch, you can see when it hits the bottom. Actually, no, I'm snagged again, or do I, or do I have a fish? I think I got a fish. I was actually trying to, I was timing it so you could see the, when the, the line moves, just like in real life, when it hits the bottom. And I ended up catching a pretty good sized white crappie there. 11 inches, but only half a pound. Well, there was my second fish. It's not the bass I was looking for, but I was I was really only looking for one more bass or one more fish. But watch this. You can see when the line hits the bottom. Like you see the right there, it hits the bottom just like in real life. It's a little bit more dramatic than in real life, but like when you when I'm fishing for real, you don't see it slam the bottom like that. So it's a little bit more dramatic, but that's pretty, pretty accurate, pretty real. So yeah, this game is pretty cool. So if I can't go out and actually fish, I think I might just start playing this for rainy days and all that. I know I said I was leaving, but I just hooked into something that's fighting like crazy. Can't tell what it is, but you can see it fighting there. It's turning around to the reeds. You can actually turn and fight it this way and change directions with the rods, with the rod, but 
it's just pulling out my drag. I don't want to tighten up my drag and lose it, so I'm just going to keep doing this till I land him. I found a better technique now that I'm that I stopped recording. I found a better technique to to retrieve with. So, Let's see, it looks like a pickerel. We got a grass pickerel, 15 inches. I take it back. The video is not over. I hooked something else right now, and this one's fighting even harder. Uh, apparently. You know, when I first started playing, jigging the spoon off the bottom seemed to work. But back-to-back -back casts now, I've got fish keeping the spoon about mid-level, about halfway to the bottom. And just kind of jigging it up and down on steady re steady retrieve, but getting it to go up and down on that. That's what I've been getting bites on all of a sudden here. 150 feet out. This guy, I had him at 80-something feet. I don't want to tighten my drag because it'll snap off. So this is something different. Because you can see the line tension is almost maxed out. So if I tighten my drag, it'll max out and snap. So I'm fighting him for every foot. And you can turn like that and pull him in. But it's not working because he's he's just pulling me right back out. Okay, that that okay. He's coming towards me. He's swimming towards me. That works. Do that again. Do that, and then reel in the slack. That's what I'm. It's almost like saltwater fishing. Pull him in, and then loosen it up and reel in the slack. Because <laughs> he is just not coming in. Whatever this guy is. 84 feet. Come on. I'm trying to go out again. Seventy-nine, seventy-eight, that's the closest he's been. He jumped around out there. I just I really do not want to tighten up my drag because he's he'll snap off. I've got the shittiest line there is. That seems to work. Well, it was working, but he's pulling it right back out again. <laughs> Had him into the 50s. I think he's coming in now. I hope this is something special and not just some kind of like pickerel or something. I'm a bass fisherman. I don't think we even have pickerel in Texas. 36 feet is closest. He almost came in there. Man, he's just pulling it right back out. Look at all that swirling and the wakes and stuff. That looks pretty good. Swimming into the bank. Come on, bring him in. You know what? Let me walk. I can walk that way. Twenty-six feet, twenty-five. I think he's finally coming in. He's tiring out. And I spoke too soon. There. I got him now. What do we got? It's a spotted bass, my new personal best. 1.9, less than 2 pounds, and it took me that long to bring him in. Jeez, 15 inches, 2 pounder. I might get fined if I try to keep him. But I don't, I don't really understand why you keep fish in this. It doesn't give you any bonus points for keeping anything. So, go ahead and release him. Wait, let's see. Do I have anything in my keep net? Nope. Go ahead and release them. I don't think it gives you any bonus points for for keep for keeping fish or anything, so I don't understand why you do that. But anyway, let's uh, 
Let me show you real quick the technique I was doing. Oh. Throw it out. I let it sink down to about the halfway point where it's at right now instead of going all the way to the bottom. And just reel it in. And just keep it at that mid level, pretty much. A steady retrieve. Or I let it go and jig it a little bit up and down. And yeah, that was working pretty well for me. Out in open water, in the deeper water. So, yeah. Uh, I've already said this was the end of the video like three times. So, that's how I'm going to end the video. I finally had a good fish, a bass that I was looking for. And it was uh, it was a half decent. I mean, for a spotted bass, that's wait. I got another one. There you go. Three casts in a row. This one's. I don't think this one's as big, but let's bring him in real quick. Look at the details on that. He came in pretty easy. It's gonna be a little bitty. Oh no, another pickerel. Anyway, I had a handful of pickerel. I think I caught a crappie, and a decent bass. That's what I was looking for was the bass. And uh, yeah. So with this fish, this is the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Come back next time to see actual fish. There won't be any pickerel in there because I don't think we have pickerel in Texas. Maybe up in North Texas or something. Not around here. Not in South Texas. But uh, I can definitely try to find you some two-pound spotted bass. Uh, so come back and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.